Okay, I'm asking. Okay, two. I will call to order the June meeting of the Community yeah. Television of Santa Cruz County Board of Directors at 5.34 p.m. Monday, June 26th. And I'll the secretary call the roll. Chair Lanier. I'm here. Director Marzio. Here. Director Dedger. Director Jeskel. Here. Director Rand. Here. Director Mannheim. Here. Director Hall. Here. Director Warren. Here. And Director Shaw. All right, we have a quorum. Oral communications, any person may address the board during its oral communications period. All oral communications must be directed to an item not listed on today's consent or regular agenda and must be within the jurisdiction of the board. Any? Sure. Um, yes, sir. I, I just wanted to um, note the passing of a long, well, I'm not sure when he stopped, but he was one of the original, must have been one of the original uh, members of Community TV, that's uh, Clay Butler. Oh. Um, he was a local artist, surfer, photographer, um, videographer. entrepreneur, oh. videographer. Yeah, he and Peter McGettigan yeah. used to do book TV. I mean, he did a bunch of different things, oh, studio nice. shoots, staff shoots. So yeah, he had, a, uh, I think they called it ocular melanoma. Um, mm. Super fit guy. He would surf at night, night surfing, <laughs> um, running up and down the stairs. Um, amazing, amazing, you know, long exposure photography sunrises and sunsets milky way and stuff like that but um yeah he lost his battle with cancer just uh, a week or two ago so but um so just he like was a, such a good guy really talented yeah did did comics and i think in the good yeah. times and, and I know the name certainly i never met him yeah. well, thank, thank so you for twilight that. ninja was his uh his photographer handle so definitely check out twilight ninja's photography okay. and if you get a chance but so let's keep keep him in mind and his family and I mean twenty year old daughter and mm -hmm. a wife and but um Hi. definitely a good one. Thanks for letting us know. I appreciate that. Sure. Um consideration of late agenda additions to the agenda, additions and deletions to the consent or regular agenda. Any seeing none, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Three items approve the meeting agenda approve board meeting minutes of May 22, 2023, and accept the May 2023 financial reports. I move to move the consent agenda. We have a I'm motion, second. Director Rand, and second, Director Maziarz. I, I just need to note um, that I will be abstaining on the minutes because I was not here at the last. Okay, time. and we have one abstention. Um, I think we can do this by just acclamation. We have a motion and a second. All um, in favor, aye. 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 And I note one extension, Director Mannheim. All right, a regular agenda, executive director's report. Take it away, <clears throat> Becca. Okay. All right. Well, this is um this is a good report. Um we <laughs> uh th this is the uh report for May and in May we achieved in the co-working center we exceeded our goal that we had budgeted for the for what the revenue the co-working center would bring in so that's great um on the uh on Mel's if you if you looked at Mel's uh, financials you'll see that we are 1.4% under budget or over budget rather, but uh, today we got um, that, that there were two reasons for that. One was there was an unbudgeted expense. Um, when we paid off that EIBL loan, there was interest that they kind of implied wouldn't start until you started paying it back, but it, it was accruing all that time. So we hadn't budgeted for that. And because uh, we did the, um, the uh, income credit or for keeping your employees employed and during the pandemic. And we filled out those forms a long time ago, but hadn't gotten any of the money, but the money was in the budget. We expected it. And some of it came today. So we're going to be, um, we're going to be under budget, I think, in the end. Great. So, yeah, I know it's very exciting. Um, let's see. We, uh, and, uh, in, in, um, in addition to um, that fun thing, uh, we, completed, um, we covered 22 government meetings in May, 
So that was because of budgets. <laughs> so they they do a lot of uh, budgeting in May and June. And so we'll have a lot in June as well. But um, uh, that and then that'll be the end of our year. We also our team covered the artist of the year event in May, which was great. And um, we hired two new video technicians in May. So um, two young women and um, Victor says they're they're doing great. One of them is now doing meetings on her own. The other one is still shadowing. But um, we're excited to, to have a, a whole new uh, group of, of technicians. Now we've, we've kind of turned over a bunch of them recently. So we have kind of a new group and Victor's very happy with the group. Um, uh, for facilities and equipment, um, the construction was supposed to end in May, but continued into June. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, now a, a secret June update, they finished. Mm -hmm. But there's a, we put new carpet in the conference room, which looks great. There's new carpet in the hallway and in the equipment room where it got really wet and I was concerned that it would be moldy. And uh, you know I was afraid even though it was just an equipment room, they may not want to put carpet in there, but they did. So nice carpet in there. And we'll be doing uh, an improvement of our own by adding uh, flooring in the kitchen. There's kind of old carpet in there. We'll take that out and we're gonna put wood in instead. So that'll be pretty. And and it, um, the, the I guess it's not really wood, it's wood, but it um, lasts for 20 years in commercial spaces. So it's a great, it's a great choice. It'll last us for ever. And we're really happy about that. So that'll make things look nicer and fresher too. We kind of need a little, we've been doing a bit of an upgrade. Um, we got new chairs for the conference room because we had the beautiful table. And uh, uh, we, oh, it came with chairs, but many of them were worn out. So we put all the good ones in the small conference room and we bought new ones for, for in there. And that, that's nice. It looks great in there. And um, let's see. Uh, Oh, the bathrooms are finished, which is nice, and the equipment room's finished. So um, I'm told that we can move gear back in there anytime we want to. Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we're. I'm get. I'm gonna get Victor to help us. Uh, we've got shelves that we can move, but we need to put them on a little floor to always to do it. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah, sure. talking about shelves. Mm -hmm. I was at the county <laughs> office of education uh, this afternoon picking up a nice filing cabinet, and they were working on this room. And they have these these uh, st uh, stacks like we have, uh -huh. uh, not not the huge big metal one, but the the other one where we had uh, the lighting and all that. So they have a whole bunch of those. Do you want more shelving? Oh, probably. Yeah, let's talk. Let's let's look at the space we have. So I did want to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. That, uh, that we, yeah. Uh, we make it, and they just give them away because they want to get rid of them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And um. I also looked into one of the things that we have trouble with with equipment is um, storing tripods because you know you can't stand them up; they fall over. And you can't you can't put them on a high shelf because you kill yourself getting them down on a low shelf. It's not fun either. And I um, I googled um, what other people do, and I found that snowboard racks are perfect for tripods because oh. you can you just screw them into the wall, and you and they're like arms like this, and you can just lay two tri and there there's not an end to a shelf or anything. You just reach in and grab the one you want real easily so i'm looking into that and that might be a nice way to do tripods mm -hmm. and then we have a little more shelving mm -hmm. okay so uh, that's part of the equipment and facilities report <laughs> like our, our need for show um we also um uh, have the uh, equipment lease program that is uh, where we lease equipment to nonprofits. and matreya has been really uh working uh with the resource center for nonviolence to get um one for them and he was very good and picked out all their equipment for them <laughs> it was really handy and um i ordered it and it's here and we're just finishing the paperwork for that yeah. and um they should and we've got the cameras are came in already and today we got the audio board nice. so just a couple I you need more it. time to label yeah we got to label a bunch of stuff but yeah maybe that's what we should do on thursday yeah yeah okay so um so that's it the the that's happening and that that's a good thing for us that'll be nice for us next year and good for them and that'll that's one of the new content areas where we can get interesting content from is um is there they'll do a lot of interesting stuff so um on the social media front this is the third month of our campaign so we've been in it for 90 days and we are getting steady growth um we, 
Facebook and Instagram are growing. LinkedIn dropped off for some reason. And uh, the consultant is adjusting her strategy to see if she can make better. Because I think that's where we would actually get a lot of people from. So um, we did reach a thousand people in the last 90 days, which is good. And our followers on social media continue to grow. So I think we're on the right track and uh, we'll just keep our eye on it. And, and uh, we're sending pictures off of, we've sent pictures of the new carpeting going in and pictures of the conference room being worked on. And so there's um, a lot of, you know, kind of we're remodeling sort of fun. People like to watch that. <laughs> so I like the DIY show. <laughs> Uh, I'm curious, are we um, tracking whether any of the people walking through the door have um, learned about us through, the, through this? We ask people where they've learned about us, and I haven't gotten a report from uh, Olivia about that yet. It hasn't been included in her report, so I don't know that anybody has come from, from social media yet. But the good thing is they could because <laughs> anything's possible, right. but they... Um, most of our audience, like 85% of the people who who uh, talk with us and read our posts are in Santa Cruz County. So it's not like we're getting a lot of people from other countries yeah. or other counties. They are here. So hopefully we will see some good. of them come in. And the stories are really interesting. Well, your life them good. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I see the ones on Instagram. Oh, good. Yeah, they're really interesting. Yeah. Well, Olivia's yeah. been doing a lot of good work. She's been doing waffles, and and um, we got a fun little setup to keep them warm and to have the butter melted, and and so we do Waffle <laughs> Wednesday. So come in and get a waffle on Wednesday. <laughs> and, um, uh, and we do bagels on Monday and on Friday. We haven't started on Friday, but we want to bring back our espresso Friday. Um, neither Mal Olivia nor I know how to make espresso. So that has been a bit of a holdup. <laughs> we, we figure we can Google it eventually. And uh, once we get the other two going, it should it should work out right. And that's my report for, for May. All right. Well, I'll just comment that things look great. I was just cruising around the hallways and the other room back there. It looked really good. So, yeah, nicely done. Thank you. It's going to be it's going to be really nice when we're all finished. And we've had really nice. The contractors have been great, and they've been really. They've helped us out with other things. Oh, <laughs> Since you're here, yeah, we had other ceiling tiles. Victor did a lot of work in the hallway, and the ceiling tiles got all chipped and then it's an art putting those in because i've tried to put a few in the last time we had a storm and they break off and they go in your eyes and oh. it's horrible and um so they did them for us they fixed the whole hallway and and did all the storm ones as well so they've been really great they've done everything we've asked and done it pretty nicely great thank you any other comments on director's report all right. Um, let's move on to the education committee and we have a report as part of the packet um David, would you like to speak to this? Sure. With uh, <clears throat> Keith's help, of course. Uh, Keith and I met and um, last week, and we discussed the proposal of uh, an idea of seminar series uh, with the library. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Keith can give more specifics on which library and um, how soon this might happen, but uh, I generated a list with the help of AI of what we might uh, might be involved in these panel discussions, and it ran from AI education, healthcare, government, um, <clears throat> privacy, or privacy, ethics, and the environment. Um, he also, I don't know if you saw the letter, which was a copy of a, an email sent by um, <clears throat> Doug Erickson, who's the director of um, Santa Cruz Works to the uh, Board of Supervisors, basically uh, encouraging them to show um, leadership in addressing these issues and how the community uh, can um, be more informed about the impacts that AI is having on our community. So um, these discussions at, at, at a library or multiple libraries uh, might be helpful in that regard, uh, getting these conversations started within the community. And I would be, and Keith and I would be 
uh, delighted for your reactions, the board members' reactions and suggestions for these this series. Uh, Keith, do you have anything else to add to that? Uh, no. Um, you mentioned the timing uh, due to the way the library schedules things. Uh, anything would be in the fall. Right. Um, one of the proposals I, I had is looking at uh, deep fakes, mm -hmm. which is definitely a video thing. So there's a direct, I mean, it's not like David and I are just going off looking at AI and society without a connection to community television. Oh, good. Um, and as we mentioned last time, Becca, you agreed to, to uh, moderate that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, as education committee, you know, David's talking about AI and education. Um, and then of course, AI and government, because mm -hmm. as David mentioned, um, there's a letter to the board of supervisors, but the board of supervisors also voted to set up as a working committee, is that what it's called? It's a working group yeah. to investigate how to best use AI and government and what the risk and dangers are to government. So opportunities, what is it? SWOT analysis, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. SWOT. 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 Anyway, Sweet. Um, Sweet. so that's that's a that's another thing that's directly connected to right. community television and our government meetings. So. Yeah, civic engagement. Yeah. Cool. Any other comments? Well, I think the uh, I think in the report it also talked about um, AI in creative life, whether you're a musician, a, a visual artist, or a writer. And I certainly hear a lot of people in those fields concerned about it. We have a very um, active community in Santa Cruz. It seems to me. If there is room somehow for that discussion, it would be um, mm -hmm. important to the community. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the art league or something like that. Yeah. You know, there's a, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. What's the artist's work is being sold mm -hmm. and plagiarized? And, yes. And that's, yes. And that happens all the time on the internet. It's terrible, but this is like really wholesale. It's, it, it yeah. And, and they don't try to hide it either. No, no. They uh, somehow, I think the general public is not aware of copyright. <laughs> 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 so, I mean, hopefully we'll we'll find, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of a AI skeptic, but hopefully we can find a balanced approach too, because I mean, just recently, uh, somebody I've watched growing up who's a musician, you know, he, he's not a visual person. And so he, he was posting his music to YouTube with just like text. And then all of a sudden I noticed recently he started putting images. And, and I was like, hmm, these images look like they might be AI generated because he's not a visual artist. Mm -hmm. So here's, you know, you know, I guess he could hire an artist, you know, to do it. Yeah. But well, uh, like, yeah. like one was, uh, I was trying to imagine what the prompt he used to get it, but it was like a bunch of soldiers holding guitars, you know, like <laughs> they were battle fatigues. And I'm like, that's a really cool, that's a cool image. And you know, probably just used a little prompt. And um, I was talking to a friend recently who's trying to do a one man band. Um, production he doesn't have millions of dollars of budget like avatar and, and he's thinking he can use ai he shot everything against the green screen he can use ai to help generate background so you know so I, it was definitely a positive too i mean there's definitely a lot yeah. of concern mm -hmm. yeah. legitimate concern by artists about their work being appropriated right. but on the other hand it's it could potentially enable people um you know without large budgets to do much more uh, to realize their artistic vision you know, a lot more um, capably. Right? Yeah, and I think there's a whole there's that that all falls into the ethics of AI. Yeah, like how you use it ethically, how you use yes. it fairly, how mm. does you not let it, you yes. know, because it. Yeah, I can do really nice things if I just had your work. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so yeah. Yes. But then there's fair use, right? You know, yeah. parody or right. yeah, but fair use is when you're talking about what you're using. So you have to be talking about their art right. in your art in right. order to use their mm -hmm. art, mm -hmm. which, yeah. Well, yeah. So that's, it. that's where we can kind of look into that. Yeah. Yeah. Guy, you can't see, I have my hand up. But oh, yeah. I had a couple of quick <laughs> oh, comments. Joe Director says Hall, yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, thanks for doing this. It's kind of interesting. I looked through it and I thought, my God, if you do all these, you're going to all die of exhaustion. And it's pretty expansive. So I had one specific discussion the item. I think, as we've talked about here, I would define it a little more on how it's going to affect 
people's everyday life. Like healthcare is so massive. There's no way in the world, you know, you can get too much, but you know, uh, privacy, ethics, things of that nature are really where it's going to hit first. And those are just my simple suggestions because I think you're undertaking a needed uh, an endeavor and I'm glad we're doing it. I just think uh, you might want to focus it down to maybe three topics and then see where you go from there. Great. Um, we will certainly consider that. And <clears throat> there's just so many directions that we could go. One you know, um, um, immediate kind of thing is is that what's happening with with video and how you can make a video and then quickly using AI tools and a variety of applications, um, get rid of the background, put a different background in. Uh, if you video yourself walking on the beach, you could remove your body and replace it with a... Um, an antelope walking in the same style that you do on the beach. So it goes on and on and on. It's just uh, an endless variety of creative openings. But again, you know, it's, it, it's uh, when is it art and when is it stolen and the ethics of it certainly are great considerations, but it's uh, a new day. Well, I, I agree with when you say choose three or four topics, but I, you're doing the work, so I won't say anything else. <laughs> we're not going to recruit you <laughs> <laughs> once our sewer pump works <laughs> Mannheim, um i i think this is a really interesting topic and i um speaking of uh who's going to do the work i this would probably be additional work but if there's any way we can videotape these for content on our air mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I assumed if I was going to host it, it would be paid. Yes, yeah. Even though, but this is going to be out at the library. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll bring the remote. Yeah. So great. Great. Yeah. We'd probably stream it. To, yeah. Stream it at the time and then take capture it. Yeah. Well, great. Good. Yeah. No, that's, I think that's important. That's good. I think. I think we can stream it to our channel. I, yeah, I would. I would also request that any of you have contact contacts in any of these areas, especially like healthcare or so forth, that can direct us to the people directly involved in dealing with it within that um, perspective, um, whether it's hospitals or, or other places. Um, my wife is a physician and already uh, I've been exploring with her how you can simply uh, I have these symptoms and you can use chat GPT and whatever to, uh, okay, what, what does this lead to? What, and you get surprising answers and you have to be careful about looking over the results, yeah. but uh, it's going to be more and more widely used and maybe um, in accidents can happen. People take the wrong whatever or, or don't see their doctor quickly enough. But, you know, these are just all questions that uh, society is facing. And I feel like we'd be remiss if somehow we didn't stick our toe in it and see what kind of literacy we can add to our community. Great, thank you. Any other comments, questions? Um, great, well, thanks for doing that and for working on that. I think it's an important um, thing that we can contribute to the this whole new world really in in the community so that's great is it a brave one brave new world <laughs> yes well, we hope it's brave <laughs> um okay uh, i think it's the board chair's report that would be me we have a lot of work coming up and i'll be in touch with many of you we've got um some uh the window is opening on the LPTV auction November 1st, I believe, uh, through the 8th. So we need to get ready for that. I'll be in touch with those of you who are interested in that. And then we've got some records management work and then working towards a um, um, retreat and talk about strategic plan. Thank you everybody for participating in the doodle poll. It's looking like it's probably gonna be the, the last 
Saturday of October. I believe that's the 28th. Uh, I'll double check the it's poll, the but... it's the women care once a year women care fundraiser and I play amazing role. okay well let me re look at those but, again and I'll I'll be in touch with with everybody on that yeah, I, couldn't find, I couldn't find anything else but they always do it the last Saturday because of okay well I'll I'll be in I'm touch the with official bean count okay. <laughs> it's the 28th to become in costume yeah right. <laughs> In AI costume. Um, <laughs> and then I've had some just early um, brief talks with some people I know up at UCSC about trying to use some of their content and putting it on um, our channels. Good. And we'll, we'll knuckle down on some of that and have, you know, some sort of more formal meetings. But just early discussions have been very positive. Mm, that's too. great. So, um, and Becca, one idea we could have a UCSC, not channel necessarily, but a, a show, a sort of a standing a thing, you yeah. know, that Sunday they can present. Sunday. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's a really good idea, and there's there is interest there too. Mm -hmm. So uh, that is positive. <clears throat> Very positive. And Michael. what else? I guess that's it for me. Um, get back to our agenda. And what do we got? Any um, staff or board member requests for specific items to be on our next meeting agenda? That will be towards the end of July. And any announcements? Hearing none, we will move to item number 12. This I, is the proposal for no Director Rand. Oh. So I then like to move that we adjourn this meeting. Short but sweet. And all those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Joe and David, for joining us remotely. Okay. This was this worked out pretty good. I just signed on a little bit ago so I could see because I missed your hand there, Joe. Well, but, that, uh, that's okay. Our sewer but, pump gave us problems and <clears throat> the plumber was late, and that's kind of vital in our house. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I yeah, I yeah. So I think that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's working. My wife just told me. I turned the screen off for a minute, so just we can we can uh, I can celebrate as we're leaving. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. Thank okay. Bye, bye. Are we officially?